<laughs> My name is Mari Burton. I'm a history teacher at Bishop Loffer School in Chichester. Um, and I really wanted my classes this year to get an idea of the local history of World War II because there's a lot in the news but it tends to be focused on places like London or Birmingham or Liverpool. And we were chosen to do a heritage site trail around Chichester which is our local area. Um, so we've done it on World War II and we found lots of information from like around the town and we've started to put, put it all together in a display. So the research that we've done as a class this year, over the last few weeks, we're hoping to share with the rest of the school so they can get an idea, so the rest of the pupils can get an idea about what an important place their local area is. Um, in the project we've been doing so far, we've been uh, researching facts of Chichester and the nearby areas with homework and other things like that. We've used the ICT suites and we've also used um, books and just um, facts from our like family and stuff. I did lots of research about um, my family mainly and um, my granddad, my great granddad, who was a minesweeper in World War II. He swept the channel before D Day and he helped a lot with most of the main minesweeping in the area. I talked to him when he was alive as well and he was quite secretive about it. Like, he didn't tell everybody, but he, if you asked him, then he would tell you. The most interesting fact I found out about Chichester was that the German soldiers um, didn't bomb the cathedral because they actually used it as a navigation point so that if they were to bomb it they wouldn't be able to get around the city and I just found that really interesting because I had no idea about that. I did most of my research on Tangmere at the air base and Tangmere had been a training base for pilots in the RAF before the war and in 1940, the Germans smashed through Europe, so Tangmere became, because of its position, suddenly an air base of major importance. And I found, found out about RAF Tangmere, and specifically I found out about that SOE um, used Tangmere as a base to send um, agents into occupied France and Belgium. SOE stands for Special Operations Exec Executive, which is similar to the MI6 yeah, it's a very secretive uh, operation. I've been doing a lot of um, oral history um, on people who were involved in the war to do with Chichester. And um, one of the people I've discovered who was called Pilot Andy McKillen, he flew the Mark 16 Spitfire for the Battle of Britain in Chichester, which um, he was very successful in. And also another person I found out was William G. Birch, um, he was the, in the British Army in the 11th Field Company. Royal Engineers um, helped to um, make the, the planes work. So it was not just important about the planes just flying, it was about working, make sure they're up in the air in time, ready for what happens in the events when the Germans attack. On the 16th of August 1940, Tangmere was bombed and equipment and parked aircraft were damaged and in total 14 ground staff and 6 civilians were killed during the bombings so that had a disastrous effect on the airbase. We found out about uh, bombings in Chichester. In total there were three major bombings in Chichester. In total 323 men from Chichester were killed and many others were wounded and their houses were destroyed and obviously it has a huge impact on your community. We were looking at uh, people's accounts of their times during the World War II. We got our information from a website and we listened to it and we cut it down into shorter parts and we chose the more important aspects of it. We did them on different places like Tangmere, Shoreham by Sea, Worthing and Crawley um, and like one of them here is about his time when he was trying to look for a family to stay with when he got evacuated. During the war, quite a few of the schools suffered with numbers because of the evacuees. There are many more people, so they had to put it into shifts. So the locals would have the normal shifts and the evacuees would come later in the day so that they could keep up with the numbers. And the most interesting thought I found out was that after the war, it was ranked alongside Scampton and Biggin Hill for its contributions to the war throughout the Battle of Britain and other major air events throughout the war. It was just really interesting to find all these different recalls and just like how it affects everyone. Um, I actually really enjoyed looking through the library and finding things out through books because normally when I'm at home I'll just Google it and find it online but because we had some lessons in the library I really enjoyed actually looking through the books and like finding it out that way. It made you realise what 
more of what they had to go through during that time instead of you know reading it down in books but actually hearing it from a person still around now oh uh, yeah it was quite fun um i i actually learned a lot of things about my family that i didn't know before so it was just quite interesting to see how even though we're so small we played quite a big part in the war now we've finished our research about our local history this is going to become one of the 12 chichester heritage trails and did you not enjoy it yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the important thing <laughs>